Taron will inbound to the left sideline near the Spartan bench. 3.6 seconds left, two to tie, three to win. McCutcheon to inbound. Got to hurry here. Gets it to Reimer at the top. She gets it stripped. She's on the deck. McCutcheon heaves. It's over. It came up short and a hard fought. Her second round game comes to a close, and the tournament's longest game has finally come to an end after four. Losing in that close of a game, for it to come down to that was just, it was heartbreaking. To go through a four overtime game, I mean, it's exhausting. And, you know, to come out on, you know, the the end we don't want to, even the loss, that's even more frustrating. I feel like we have a lot of stuff to prove this year. Last year, you know, we lost a lot of close games because we weren't mentally and physically tough like we, we should be. Going into this year, I think if we instill that, you know, next play or, you know, when you're fatigued, you push through, uh, we got each other's back, we continue to talk. I think that's just going to make those games that we didn't get last year, like close points, we're going to get them this year because we've been in those situations um, and now that we've prepared ourselves tougher mentally and physically, I feel like we're gonna be able to come out on top of those games. Everybody's more focused and it, it makes for a more intense practice or workout or whatever we're doing. We've done a good job of not only doing that in practice, but bringing that everywhere. I mean, it can go to lifts, it can be in recruiting, it can be in anything. We've been more focused and we've done a really good job in every aspect of just being more intense. I expect us to be tough you know, mentally and physically tough. I expect us to have great unity and chemistry. I expect us to, you know, play with a lot of passion and purpose for sure. This team is a lot different than the teams I've worked with in the past, um, in a sense that we are talking a lot more already, and I feel like defensively we've already made a big stress on that part of the basketball floor. I feel like we, we have a special group this year. Emphasis today is going to be bigs. Whenever you're in that high post action, okay, so obviously you have your drives and all that, but like once you set that screen, you got to go hard. I always say you can't be a leader of many if you're not a leader of one first. So all three of those kids lead themselves individually extremely, extremely well. And I think it has to start there for people to recognize and appreciate and respect. You know, you get that street cred by being in the trenches, right, and doing what you're supposed to and doing it really, really well. All three of those kids have done that. All three of them are tremendous workers. So they're, they're just great kids and blessings, and it makes sense that they were voted our captains. To be a three-year captain, it's amazing. My teammates see, you know, something in me, and uh, I say I always tried to lead by example, and it means a lot that they have a trust in me and have voted me to be a captain. It's, uh, it's really an amazing experience. Uh, I love this team, and I think we're really gonna do big things this year. It means a lot to me to be a captain. Uh, for me, it means that my teammates and, my, um, co and the coaching staff really trusted me and the ability to lead on and off the court. Well, the biggest difference I think this year's team is I think that we're connecting a lot better on and off the court. This summer, I felt like we were a little bit uh, closer as a team, and it's been translating on the court. <laughs> yes, communication, talking. So really emphasize that. All right, we seem a little quiet today. All right, so I can already tell a little bit our energy. Let's pick that up. All right, communication. Okay, make sure we're talking. Coach always puts it in this. Um, this way, uh, we go into gyms and we play for our big crowds and we're not going to be able to hear each other. So to be able to communicate down there now, it's just going to lead into the games and make everything easier. And especially for the freshmen, uh, when we go, go to places like uh, Michigan or we go to Nebraska, I mean, they have huge crowds when we play there. You're not, you're going to get rattled, you're not going to be able to hear. And, you know, instilling that communication now in practice is just going to make those times easier. So she's driving, right? It's their help, but we want to sink and be open and be big. Communication is a big thing that Coach emphasizes, and just to play together and play every uh, practice like it's a game, because coming in November 1st, where we have our first home game, how hard we go in practice now, the game should be very easy. I've never had a, a great team that didn't communicate on the court, and I think it has to start there. Early, loud, and often. I mean, you can't you, know, you can't talk early enough. You can always you know be loud, and you can always say it a lot of different ways and a lot of different times. Because I, 
because then we got to sink right, and fill. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Our mentality is everyone's coming after us. You know, we're we're one of the best teams in the Big Ten this year, I believe. So we just have, we have a target on our back, and we just have to play with each other throughout the whole season. This team, I, I just feel like it's different. It's different this year. The whole vibe just it's it's going to be surprising to a lot of people.